Hey, what's up guys? It's Napo H. Barista. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. It's finally time for us to review the Malkunik E65S. Now this review is based on our experience as a pop-up coffee company, not a coffee shop or a cafe. So we're gonna get right to it. We're gonna start with what we like about the grinder. First, we're gonna start with the build quality. As we mentioned, the build quality of the Makunik E65S is really tough and impressive. It just has this weight to it. The paint coating, the materials is made out of, it just looks so well put together and well made. It's not inferior to the build quality of the La Marzocco Mini. It's just right up there. When people see it, they know you mean business, okay? The second thing we like about the grinder is the hopper, I mean, the thing is beautiful. It holds just the right amount of coffee, but I just love how sturdy it is. Another thing I like about the hopper is the clip function of the hopper lid. I just think it's really creative. Like I said in our previous video, you wanna hang a sign or you wanna hang uh, some information about the coffee you're using that day. It's just really, really functional, really cool thing to add. Another thing I like to add about the hopper is I just love the way it towers over our La Marzocco Mini. Um, it just shows that we don't play games. We're serious about our coffee and it's the kind of message I want to put out as a pop-up coffee company. So I'm really excited about that. The third thing we like about the grinder and it's the most important thing is the speed and accuracy of the Makuna E65S. I mean, it's it's easy to fall in love with this grinder. It's easy to get used to how fast it is. Um, it just feels natural. We can't change the elements of the room. We can't change the humidity. We can't change the temperature. I mean, unless you're in a cafe, of course. But as a pop-up coffee company, you just go into this environment. You don't know what's gonna happen. You just set up and you play right you make coffee and so it really makes your job as a barista a lot easier when you have a grinder that's fast and accurate um, socratic coffee i don't know if you guys follow socratic coffee but they actually did a test on this grinder and it doesn't fall too short from the Makunik peak um, espresso grinder so it's right up there in speed but it's probably like a point something difference not significant in my opinion. I think this grinder rocks. Um, also, it makes really good, tasty espresso. And so it's really, just really, really nice. And that fluffy grind, a consistent grind. I found those 19 grams. I'm sure that in 3.7 seconds or 3.5 seconds, I'm gonna get 19 grams, time after time after time. The fourth thing we like about this grinder is the digital menu display now it's something i thought hey you know i don't i don't really need that i'm not behind bar playing around with settings and things like that but it's pretty cool the things you can do i mean what i like about the digital display the most is how easy it is to change a setting on the fly the fifth thing we like about the Makunik E65S is the portafilter block the portafilter block can be adjusted to any portafilter you have I was using this grinder with our Breville infuser, which is just a home espresso grinder. Um, I was using it with the naked portafilter, and then I was also using it with the spouted portafilter. They all have different sizes. I kind of found a size that works for all three. It's not perfect to one, but I can use different portafilters. The portafilter block is really, really unique and really functional. In short, there's really nothing bad about this grinder. It's, it's well thought out, well built. Uh, I love it. So before jumping into what we don't like about the grinder, I kind of just wanted to give a little information of what it was like getting started with the uh, E65S. So dialing in never felt easier. It is a stepless grinder where you can adjust to the finest adjustment you possibly can. It's sensitive to it as well. Um, it does have a locking ring at the other side of the grinder. You don't really need it. I didn't lock mine. Actually, I forgot one time and the second time I did lock it I, and I made an adjustment. I had to reach over and unlock it and I was like, it's not really needed. It doesn't move around on you. Like I said, it's a sturdy grinder, so it's perfect. I say the portafilter block is the star of the show. Like, um, it's really natural. You just grab your portafilter, throw it in there, 
and um, it gives you a perfect grind. You can set the spout so your coffee grinds sit right in the middle of the portafilter. I mean, it's perfect. The Makuna E65 really sets the bar high. I mean, it's hard to beat this. I personally thought, hey, it's only a few hundred dollars shy of the peak. I might as well get the peak, but this is a new model. This is a new grinder. I'm sure there are things that they fixed from previous uh, grinders that is now implemented in this new E65S. So I'm like, let me try this. And so far I am in love with this grinder. So here's what I don't like about the E65S. The first thing is that the power button is on the back side of the grinder. Just like towards the left of the mini is the power button on the side. I thought the power button would be on the side of the Makuna E65S, but it's not. It's in the back. But the first thing that came to my head was, hey, someone's gonna mess around with that power button. And sure enough, the first day we pop up and somebody just went and shut my grinder off. <laughs> yeah, it was a kid. He was like, oh, a button. Boop, turned it off. It has nothing to do with functionality of the grinder. It's just that I just don't like things to be accessible to the public. I mean, but I'm sure that in most cafes, people aren't reaching their hands over the counter. It shouldn't be a problem to most people, but it can be one. The second thing is branding. I would like to see some kind of branding on the face. Not this, like this is beautiful right here. We're talking about the other side. The Makunic Peak has like a red heartbeat going around. You see that, you know that's a Makunic Peak. All right guys, lastly, the hopper. The hopper is really cool, it's really rigid, it's perfect. The only thing that is big. This probably isn't even worth mentioning because rumors is there is a new hopper coming out. I like the way the grinder towers over the Lama Zoko Mini, but well, maybe some people don't. Or you may not have enough car in space for this huge hopper. So it'll be nice to have one smaller for coffee enthusiasts. All right guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're interested in more coffee videos, hit the subscribe button. I might surprise you with something cool. God bless you. Till next time. Peace.